Hi, this is Athletics Now, and this is October 27, 2008. My name is Mark Edgman. I'm a certified athletic administrator at Upland Christian High School. And today on Athletics Now, we're going to look at the newspaper and the coverage you get at your local paper. We're going to interview one of our longtime re reporters at the Daily Bulletin, Pete Marshall. Just remember, after every game, make sure you do call in your scores and get that information to them accurately and efficiently. Let's hear from Pete Marshall. Yeah, I've covered all those things, but I, I don't find you can really get to know people. And, and, and the Dodgers, you know, the, the, the players, you know, run and hide. There's a hundred reporters around. I like getting to know you know, these are these are kids, you know, and it's and it's a lot of fun and they're playing for the love of the sport. That's right. And I, I I really I enjoy it, and I love you know, meeting these these new kids. And there's kids that I've seen covered in high school, and I see them kind of grow up and mature, and then become coaches. I've been around doing it that long, and it's and it's really kind of kind of cool. Cause it's like, gosh, I remember that kid, and I, and I really thought he would make a you know a good coach someday. And uh, it's really neat to kind of to kind of see that. And I think it's it's uh, one of the areas where you really get to see uh, you know kids you know mature. And I, I'm certainly not a, not a teacher. By any by any stretch, but uh, I do like to, and I get to around around to a lot of schools, get to see a lot of these kids. So I I really do enjoy it. I've covered a lot of things, and I've covered minor league baseball as well. Um, but uh, you know, high school sports is really the it's really the lifeblood of, of of our paper, of our sports section, and uh, and I think it is of, of most uh, uh, newspapers our size, and most sports sections our size. I agree with you there. Uh, one of the exciting parts is after every game. The kids get up the next morning and look in the newspaper and you know all this information appears in the newspaper from the last Friday night's football game and can you just kind of explain to our families how the reporting process goes when you how do you get the information and then how do you guys go about getting it ready for the paper. Well, uh, for football games, it's a little different, now, I would say, than, than other sports. Football, we, we try and uh, actually get out to a lot of the games, but we can't get out to, to all the games. We kind of have to prioritize. Mm -hmm. um, the way our sports section has been, and most newspapers, it's, it's shrinking. Advertising dollars are, are down. We have less space than we've had before, so we really have to make some decisions as to uh, which games we need to go to, which games are the most important. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other ones, it is uh, incumbent on the, on the coaches or a parent to call us with that information. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've changed our format a little bit. Um, we used to do all sort of uh, a traditional game story, as they would say, right. with you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and a lead. And, but we found that some of the we some of those games we we can't really, we want to get out as much information as possible, so we do a game capsule. Mm -hmm. And so even when um, a coach for a game we're, we're not covering calls in, we're able to get some information. We're able to get some statistics. We're able to get maybe a quote, a key moment, and we're kind of able to get it in there for the for the fans and parents, you know, to be able to, to dissect and, and look at. So um, we try and get it in the most uh, most user-friendly kind of kind of way in the space we have you know allowed and for the bigger games we certainly do a, you know full full stories um, but we can't do it for all of them and uh, um, we just try and get, get the information out there now for other sports um, we're out of very few uh, events whether it's you know volleyball or basketball or baseball or softball and we get out to them um, from time to time but usually it's not going to be much more than one or two on a given day, unless we get to the to the playoffs, That's and right. and then at that point, um, so it, it, the coaches have to call in almost every match, and uh, it's it's really their and job, and so it's I mean it's I guess it's part of their job, but not every coach sees it as important, which is which is fine, but it's not we can't be at all these matches, and so if the coach and the parents you know, want want to have it reported. Um, they need to take it upon themselves, and it's fine if a parent wants to do it as long as it's okay with the with the coach. We've had a couple of instances where we've had like more than one parent from a school, you know, calling in results, and they weren't always exactly the same. It wasn't the same players scoring the goals, so it was a little tricky. That's right. So, um, and there is a lot of information that you mail out to the schools and athletic directors requesting at the beginning of seasons 
those contact people and to allow them to know how to get the information to them. So it, it's very helpful from that point. We've been blessed that last two years we've been in the CIF championship with baseball and we've gotten very nice articles and we understand that small schools a lot of times, you know, we're gonna have to wait our turn and that's okay. But when we earn the right to get there, the paper's right there supporting us. And so it's been exciting from that point. Let me ask on just a slightly different area and that's special articles. What's some of the themes and ideas that you look for when you're looking for an article to write on a team? Well, I think people think, Mark, that we want to do an article just on a big school or the best kid or a, you know, a kid on a good team or something. That, that doesn't necessarily make for a good story. We want what's a good story. We want something that's going to appeal not just to uh, that kid and his parents. That's right. <laughs> we, want, uh, we want to do a story that's going to appeal to all our readers. Gonna, someone's going to say, oh, this is kind of interesting. Let me read more. Maybe someone who doesn't even follow high school sports. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of those, those stories out there. And it could be from a large school, could be from a small school. Sure. Um, and I've done stories, you know, I've done, uh, I think I did some stories, particularly when you guys o opened here at Upland That's Christian. Right. And I did a story a couple years ago on a basketball player at Calvary Baptist, which is a small school. That's right. Done a lot at Ontario Christian. Sure. And it, it's, it's not based on necessarily, those stories aren't based on how many readers we have That's for right. that. It's, it's based on what, what, is, what is going to be interesting um, to people. Uh, recently, I did a story, for an example, on uh, a husband and wife who are both volleyball coaches. And they're rival at rival schools and in the same league, and they were facing each other for the first time at Pomona and Ganesha High Schools. Now, those two schools, I mean, Ganesha is ranked in the CIF. Pomona is really struggling. They're not our best volleyball programs. Ganesha's in a, in a lower division. But I, what, I mean, what a great story. You have this husband and wife, and the wife is their first year coaching. The husband's been coaching for a while. And so, I mean, that's, that's a good story. It's not about what, it, what the best school is or what the best uh, you know volleyball program is. I agree with you there. What do you, would you like to share with our parents about uh, high school sports and some of the things you've seen and or maybe clarify something? Well I, I guess one thing I would mention Mark is that I think a lot of parents think it's our job to get their kid a, uh, a high school scholarship or excuse me a college scholarship and uh, it's, it's not, and it's not even something that, that colleges look at that much. I mean, they may look and see, oh, this kid maybe is doing well, but they're not going to recruit a kid just based off of what, what we write. And our job is to report the news and report interesting stories, which kind of goes back to my last point is we don't just do, oh, this kid is really good, let's do a story on him. Well, what's interesting about him? Why, why do we want to, why would someone want to read, you know, about him? Sometimes, you know, you really look hard and you find something, but a lot of times, you know, we're, I'm not going to just do a story on a kid just, just because, hey, he's deserves, he deserves it because he's going to get it recruited or he needs it to be recruited. That's, that's, that's not the way we work. And they, they know all this, uh, they, they, they have network of, of people to talk to. Right. They, they, they know, they can scout, they have, they have people, and it's really not, not, not our, our job to, uh, you know, to do that. Um, um, the other thing, I guess, would be that uh, we don't have a, a bias t towards or against any particular school. Um, in terms of game coverage, we, we do generally cover the, the larger and um, more successful um, schools, but that doesn't mean that we we favor them. We try and go where there's going to be the most interest in those those matches or events. But like I said before, you know, if there's a good story, no matter what the school, you know, we'll be covering it. We get a lot of from parents saying, "Oh, you like this school better than <laughs> than our school," and that's that's not true. We, that's not we like we like all the schools, and we just can't cover them all that's all right. the time. No, so. No, we appreciate Pete taking the time out and being able to speak to us on the newspaper side of high school athletics. And we just look forward to reading the Daily Bulletin each day and, and seeing the different information that's in there. So thank you, Pete, for taking the time. And again, this is better a better way to help you understand high school sports. Thanks.